Okay, our topic now is the lysosome. We're going to discuss about the structure of the lysosome as well as the functions of the lysosome. Okay, so from the word lysosome, and the, eh, derived from the Greek word mean lysis. So something means that these solutions or destruction basically is a suicide bag. Okay, the nickname always we give them is a suicide bag. And inside this bag, they are single membrane bound organelle. So they are single membrane bound. So inside that contain a lot of these enzymes. So collectively, this enzyme, we call them as the hydrolytic enzyme. So we learned about hydrolysis, right? Okay, so this hydrolytic enzyme will carry out the hydrolysis. So the hydrolyze what? Hydrolyze the macromolecules such as protein. We want to hydrolyze a protein, mean break down. Hydrolyze, another word means break down. Break down the protein, break down the DNA, RNA, polysaccharide, and also the lipids. Okay. Now, a bit confused here. A bit confused here. Be careful. When we use the word macromolecule, okay, macromolecule only applicable for protein, DNA, RNA, and polysaccharide. Lipid is not a macromolecule. Are you clear? Lipids, they are not macromolecule they're just a large molecule so uh in topics number three okay we are going to in biological molecule we're going to learn what is the definitions of the macromolecule so for today you just take it as protein dna rna polysaccharides they are macromolecule but lipids is not a macromolecule okay so this hierarchy enzyme and lysosomal membrane are made by the rough er and then transfer to the goji apparatus Okay, so this Goji apparatus later butt off. Okay, the lysosome right, arise by budding from the transphase of the Goji apparatus. Okay, so the right, from transphase, then it formed this um, lysosome. So just now when we talk about this Goji apparatus, so we have the Goji vesicle, right? We have Goji vesicle, and then we do have the lysosomal vesicle. So lysosomal vesicle will form the lysosome. Okay. So you can actually uh, take one minute to label various structure, a structure of the lysosome. Okay. Okay. So how to label uh, some of the structures? Okay, some of the structures of the lysosome. So we know that inside the lysosome you have a lot of the enzyme. So this enzyme is termed as the hydrolytic enzymes. Huh? Okay, we term it a hydrolytic enzyme. So why we think we name uh, them as a hydrolytic enzyme because they carry out hydrolysis. So another word for hydrolysis break down. Okay? Break down the macromolecule, large molecule into the smaller molecule. Okay. So in this case, you can see that this one is the membrane of the lysosome. So membrane actually formed by phospholipid. As again, I say that phospholipid is a triglyceride, something like triglyceride, but with phosphate groups okay generally we're going to learn this one in the next topics okay so it's a membrane okay or lysosomal membrane i don't say membrane or lysosomal membrane okay yeah. so lysosome a bit special now why say lysosome a bit special because lysosome only available only present in animal cells lysosome only present in the animal cells, okay? So the existence of the lysosome in the plant cells have been long debated, okay? So whether plant cells have lysosome or not, the an answer is no. Are you clear? So plant, for plant cells, no lysosome. But plant cells can fulfill the lysosomal activity, okay? So they don't have the structure called lysosome, but they can carry out lysosomal activity. By using their vacuum. Okay, highlight this. So plant cells always remember no lysosome, but how they can carry out lysosomal activity, how they can carry out the hydrolytic process or hydrolytic reactions. So they are, they are using their vacuum. So the vacuum actually contain the enzyme. Okay, they use a vacuum. So this vacuum actually contain the enzyme found in the animal lysosome, same as the animal lysosome. So they have the same functions, but different organelles. Are you clear? So for plant, they use vacuum. 
Okay, the plant they don't have lysosome, but animal cells we use the. Okay, for animal cells we use the lysosome. Okay, so what are the lysosomal activities? Means that the functions of the lysosome. So let us look at this diagram now. Now we do, eh, we do know that, eh, we do know that, uh, to form the lysosome, we need to go through the Golgi apparatus. So when the vesicle bud off from the transphase, and then it form this lysosome. So lysosome have three. Eh, lysosomes have three major function. The first function is called intracellular digestion. Okay, the first one. Is known as intracellular digestion. Now, what's the intracellular digestion? Intracellular digestion basically, let's say, for example, in some of the uh, unicellular organisms such as amoeba. Okay, so we know that amoeba will carry out endocytosis. Endocytosis means take in. Can I say that endocytosis means take in? So they take in, for example, the solid particle. Let's say amoeba and gulf, the bacteria, can take them in through phagocytosis. You learn about this phagocytosis, right? So they extend the pseudopodia at, uh, and gulf and surround this uh, bacteria, take in the bacteria. So you form this, what we call the phagocytic vesicle. And this phagocytic vesicle, the membrane, fills with the membrane of the lysosome. And now, can you see that? They release the hydrolytic enzyme and break down the bacteria. So useful material will be reabsorbed back. The waste products will be sent out by exocytosis or will be released by exocytosis. So the first process is known as intracellular digestion. So again, guys, solid particle, for example, bacterial. So our amoeba can actually extend the cytoplasmic projection or pseudopodia to engulf the bacterial. But they take in the bacteria, they have to break down the bacteria, right? So how to break down the bacteria? So the membrane of the phagocytic vesicle fills with the membranes of the lysosome. So that lysosome now can release the hydrolytic enzyme to break down the particle. So useful material or nutrient will be absorbed by the cells. Waste products will be sent out or released through the process called exocytosis. Exo means exit. Endo means take in, okay, endo, take in. So this first process is known as intracellular digestion. Okay, so now we look at the second process. The second process is termed as autophagy. Okay, the second process is termed as autophagy. Okay, what's mean autophagy? Now, we do know that some of the organelles can be damaged. Are you clear? They owe already. So uh, no functions already. So what we do here is the lysosome together right, a vesicle surrounding the damaged organelles. Can I see that? The damaged organelles fills with the lysosome. So the lysosome again can release the hydrolytic enzyme to break down the damaged organelle. So the useful material or the nutrient will be absorbed back. And then those uh, waste products that we cannot absorb Again, we release them through the exocytosis. So the process is termed as autophagy. Eh? The process is termed as autophagy. Okay. Then how about the third process? Third process is known as autolysis. Okay. So what's mean autolysis? Lysis means breakdown. Okay. Break. Break what? So in this case. Autolysis takes place when we break the membranes of the lysosome. So it means that this digestive enzyme or the hydrolytic enzyme will be all over your cells. Basically, it's a suicide process. Autolysis basically means that for those cells that are already old and cannot carry out the functions, we don't want them anymore when we trigger the release of the hydrolytic enzyme inside the cells so that the cells will be killed. Okay? The cell will be lysed in this process. Okay, so we have three, we have intracellular digestions, we have autophagy together with the autolysis, eh? based on the functions of the lysosome. Yeah, so you are given all the terms here already. 
Okay, so take five minutes to complete the, uh, the question here. Then I will disclose the answer later. Okay, five minutes. Okay, so let us uh, continue with the answer. Okay, so I assume that you guys have done uh, answering the question here. So we we'll start. Lysosome carry out the intracellular digestion. Okay? So the first process is known as intracellular digestion. So in a variety of circumstances, right? amoeba and many other unicellular eukaryotic, okay, uh, okay, and GAF, okay, smaller organism or food particle by the process known as phagocytosis. So what is the NGAF? NGAF basically they extend the say, pseudopodia or extend the cytoplasmic projections, eh? Cytoplasmic projections. So it's something like this. So this is a bacterial. Okay, so what's the, the cell can do? The cell can extend the cytoplasmic projection. The nucleus. Okay, so this is termed as cytoplasmic projection. So when this cytoplasmic projection later fuse together, nucleus, can you imagine it fused together? Then it's going to trap the bacterial inside this. So this vesicle is known as the phagocytic vesicle. Are you clear? So it's, it's a vesicle, but it's because it's formed after phagocytosis. Okay, so the process here is done by phagocytosis. It's a form of endocytosis. Endocytosis is a general name. Phagocytosis is more precise, okay? So it means that after this, you can see that after phagocytosis, so we form a phagocytic vesicle. Okay, so the phagocytic vesicle, okay, the phagocytic vesicle form dense. So the membrane here, can you see that? The membrane here later will fuse with the lysosome, okay? fuse with the lysosome, where the enzymes, okay, will hydrolyze the food particle. Now, be careful when you use the words, okay? Food particle, not food. Be careful. Food particle and food is different. Huh? Food, basically, we prepare the food. We eat the food, okay? For amoeba, they don't eat the food, okay? They eat the food particle. They don't eat, basically, they actually uh, they take in, okay? The food particle. So, digestions take place. Then, the, the products, the waste products are released into the cytosol and become nutrients for the cells, okay? We absorb the nutrient. Lysosome also use the hydrolytic enzyme to recycle the cell own organic compound by the process of autophagy, okay? Autophagy. So during the process, a damaged organelle, so it can be mitochondria, it can be Golgi apparatus, okay? will be surrounded by a vesicle and a lysosome fused with the outer membrane of this vesicle. So the lysosomal enzyme dismantles the enclosed material and the result small organic compounds are released to the cytosol for the reuse. Okay, the waste product will be sent out or released out by exocytosis. So in all or damaged cells, then we have the autolysis. Eh? Autolysis is a process initiated by the eh, lysosome which release the hydrolytic enzyme they contain into the cytosome, resulting in the self destructions of the old and damaged cells. Okay, so three functions here, three functions. Okay, so intracellular digestions, understand the concept. Second, autophagy. And third, autolysis. So what's the function of autophagy? Autophagy is to digest the damaged organ out. Autolysis basically for the self destruction of the old and damaged cells. So one of the example we can see that recently lysosome row has been discovered in the metamorphosis of the frogs. How they transform from a tadpole to a frog. Right? Tadpole they have the uh, the tail right. So how they actually uh, remove the tail? They, we don't chop them the, the tail out right. So how they remove the tail or they degrade the tail? So it's a lysosomal activity. Okay, so the disappearance of the tail from the tadpole larva of the frog is due to the lysosomal activity. So activity of the enzyme called K 
catepsin present in the lysosome that actually break down the cells in the tail. Okay, so this is extra information only. So for your information only. Okay, so no need to memorize. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the ultra structure of lysosome. So you can see that lysosome. Okay, filled with the hydrolytic enzymes. Okay, filled with the hydrolytic enzyme. And you can see that this is a lysosome. This is the mitochondria. So this mitochondria already damaged already. So it means that we need to carry out autophagy. Okay, autophagy is the one that uh, uh, digests or break down the damaged organelles. Okay. Yeah? Now, one of the diseases called Tay-Sachs disease. Okay, Tay-Sachs disease is where the person or one of these inherited disease is, is a mutation, is the genetic disorder, so that a lipid digesting enzyme is missing or inactive. So the brain become impaired by accumulation of the lipids of the cells. Okay, so basically, this person will have the inherited lysosomal storage diseases means that they don't have an appropriate enzyme to carry out hydrolysis. So therefore, okay, so therefore you can see that they are, uh, they can't digest some of the material. The accumulation of particular material may stop the functional, uh, uh, may stop the brain, for example, from functioning. Okay, uh, so with this, I have done for the, I've done for the lysosome. Okay, uh,